Hi there! In this video, I'll show you the commands on the Tools menu where you can get information about your design, make global changes, and more. The Statistics command shows a dialog where you can see the volume, weight, and overall size of your part. The weight calculation can be useful when designing airborne parts and similar weight-sensitive applications. Let's close the dialog. The Compute command computes the center of gravity for 2D shapes. Notice the CG is shown here. The Projection Complement command is used when importing DXF files. Please see the associated video to learn more about that. The Convert to Revolve command helps you convert designs to the revolve line style if you created your shape from concentric circles. For example, let's create 1 and 2 inch circles. We'll set Z to 1 inch for each. Here's the 3D view. Now let's close the 3D view and go to the front view. We can see the side shape, but the design is not using the revolve feature. Now let's see how the design looks when using the revolve feature. Choose Tools, Convert to Revolve. Switching to the front view, Notice that the shape is now created in this view with this line, and the Z value is Revolve. This is the recommended method for turned shapes because it gives you much more flexibility for adding shape features. The next command is Rotate Top 90. This command allows you to rotate your entire 3D design 90 degrees. For example, Features in the left view will move to the back view. Features in the back view will move to the right view, and so on. This can be useful if you decide that you would prefer to work on your drawing from a different rotation. The Shape Library command gives you access to mechanical drawing symbols like these. They are used for creating additional drawing specifications, such as perpendicularity, concentricity, and so on. The Shape Library command also gives you access to electronic circuit symbols like these. You can cut and paste these symbols to design schematic circuit drawings. This can be useful when designing printed circuits for our pad-to-pad -pad circuit board division. Once you're finished with a drawing, you might want to lock your design to avoid accidental changes. The Confirm Changes command accomplishes this. Notice that if we try to nudge a line or make another change, we must confirm it. You can unlock your design by toggling the command off. The Show Comments to Self command toggles your comments on and off. For example, suppose we add text, Drawn Today, and set as Comments to Self. We can toggle that layer on and off like this. This is useful if you have many comments and want to focus on the shape lines without distraction. Thanks for watching, and be sure to see our other videos for more useful tips. Bye for now.